Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Today we are going to speak regarding new edition uh, of the Warpet collection. Uh, Bruin Bear, after the new update we got new two Warpets. First is uh, Bruin Bear, like Brown Bear, and the Shadow of Edric. Both of them are pretty interesting, but at first let's speak more deeply about Bruin Bear, what kind of skill sets um, the bear has and on which heroes uh, the Bruin Bear will be good to use it. Uh, first of all, as always, uh, when I'm speaking regarding uh, Warpets, I'm always mentioning attributes. It's always better to have a Legendary uh, Warpet, simply because Legendary Warpet have uh, better attributes all around the game, like every single attribute, like Strength, Agility, Endurance, will be S tier, and it will be like maximum amount of points. Uh, but for sure, like there is a couple of choices of which attributes are better for a different warpet. For a Bruin Bear, uh, I, in my opinion, it's a tank warpet. Endurance and agility are the main attributes for the uh, skills, for the main skill uh, of the Bruin Bear. Rather than that, I think endurance, agility, and, and strength will be important attribute uh, simply because uh, endurance and agility you have it on your skill, and if you want to use a infantry and tanky warpet it should be on an infantry unit and strength is always good with the infantry unit so whenever you are catching the bruin bear try to get uh, endurance and agility on s tier and then like if strength will be on s tier it will be amazing so like as again men i will mention that uh, legendary uh, warpets really matter simply because you can see it by your, your by yourself how many s uh, tier and how much points you get whenever you have a legendary uh, warpet uh, regarding like skills of the bruin bear uh, we have a new synergy uh, quickening so what does this quickening mean right uh, gains charged each counter attack against an enemy legion inflicts one stack of barbered mark Maximum stacks is 3. The next time the hero casts a rage skill, they deal damage to up to 5 surrounding enemies carrying a barbed mark. So what it means, um, this uh, Bruin Bear, the infantry and tank uh, warpet, whenever you are dealing a counter-attack damage to the enemy, uh, this uh, warpet, Bruin Bear, is uh, giving them the mark, barbed mark, 3 marks maximum, and it's dealing damage to up to 5 enemies. Uh, I like this skill. It's always good whenever you have um, uh, damage on the tank units and in infantry units especially. Also, counter-attack damage uh, is a like uh, most usual and most normal damage type for the tank units and you are giving the counter-attack more purpose. Uh, so, upgradable version of the quickening is the forceful quickening, uh, which is just damage dealt up to 3%. Determined by endurance, and as I said, main skill of the Bruin Bear is endurance. Uh, and here, yet again, as I said, strength is a first main skill, a main skills attribute, and second one uh, is endurance. Uh, what about the third synergy skill, uh, the terrible quickening? You get agility as a main attribute, so you need endurance, you need uh, strength, and you need agility. Increases, increases the max stacks of Barber the Mark inflicted by quickening. Every 250 agility increase max stacks by one. So, which means more agility your warpet will have, more damage this uh, quickening will deal. So, it's important to catch a legendary uh, warpet in order to have S uh, tier attributes on every single attribute. Other the like another skills which you can build up your uh, Bruin Bear, as I said, it's a tanky and tank warpet. You can always go to the uh, enemy legion attack mitigation uh, simply because you are getting by endurance and your endurance will be high. You have like a couple of options. You can go purely uh, armor like terror barrier, uh, heart of wall, right? Or you can go with the healing like great core, for example. Um, like any uh, tanky uh, skill will work uh, with this uh, pet because simply as much time you 
this pet will be alive in the battlefield, more stacks it will apply to the enemy, and uh, like uh, more damage you will deal in the end, right? Like well, Guardian Oath can be fine, uh, Gentle Breeze can be fine, like debuffs, removing debuffs, but it's determined by luck. So it's kind of important still to have a legendary war pet because you never know, you can unlock like 7, 6, 8 uh, skills and you can fill up the skills, uh, it, like depends on your gameplay, right? For a tank war pet, you have always two choices. You're gonna go with armor, uh, with terror barrier and the heart of wool and in general armor style, or you're gonna go with healing, right? So depends on your gameplay, depends on which heroes you will put this war pet in. And of course, um, our next topic is the heroes where you can use the Bruin Bear. We're gonna move to the hero section, and as I said, Bruin Bear is a tank war pet and it will be amazing with the tanks. Uh, as I said, if you want to build a Bruin Bear as a healer uh, with the healing skills, um, of course you can go with Garwood. Uh, Garwood is all about healing and all about staying alive. And as much time you will be staying alive in the battlefield, more damage your warped will deal. Other than that, like purely counter-attack damage infantry heroes are of course Madeline. You can always run uh, Bruin Bear with Madeline and Nika. Great choice, uh, simply because like one of the highest infantry heroes which gonna deal a lot of counter-attack damage and as we know Bruin Bear's main skill is all about dealing counter-attack damage and of course the new infantry heroes Skolgul and Goresh or Goresh and Skolgul they are all about dealing counter-attack damage and they are all about dealing in general damage in the game so I would recommend to run uh, Goresh and Skolgul or Madeline and Nika why Goresh and Skolgul right like in this game we have a couple of different type of uh, infantry heroes uh, like first section is like healing uh, Garwood um, you can put there like Eliana uh, shielding and healing and other infantry heroes are mainly like tanky but half DPS such as Madeline and Nika is a one hero pair uh, Madeline will get a like a uh, skill capacity and whenever you are getting skill capacity bonus that means you have a more legion uh, more units in your legion and you are more tanky right and also uh, Madeline is popular by dealing a lot of counter attack damage uh, regarding like Goresh and Skolgul, uh, they are purely uh, DPS damage type of infantry heroes. They are dealing a lot of counter attack damage, like infantry units counter attack damage bonus up to 20%. Uh, right? Like uh, everything about Goresh and Skolgul is a determination that uh, Bruin Bear is their main. Uh, Warpet and like kind of brown, uh, Wilderberg is like red and brownish colors, and Bruin Bear is brown, right? So, the, like, there's like a couple of uh, same styles, and I, I think uh, the Bruin Bear is in general for the Scorish and Skogu, and new uh, Shadow Fair Drake is for Bertrand. That's my opinion. Like, I haven't checked Shadow Fair Drake yet, but this is purely my guess. So, yeah, I think Goresh and Skolgul will be the most perfect uh, hero pair for the uh, new Bruin Bear. Uh, this is like a new Warpet. Warpets are like still getting popular time by time. Um, next Warpet uh, update and guide will be regarding Fair Drake, uh, the Shadow Fair Drake. We already have Sapphire Fair Drake, which is a mage. Uh, Warpet uh, Berserker Ferdrake is a like mostly cavalry and flying units, and Shadow Ferdrake will be, I think, Bertrand's main uh, Warpet. And the skills and the skill set and synergies will be similar, in my opinion. So, like uh, Goresh and uh, Skolgul introduced, we have Bruin Bear for them, and Bertrand and Dohar introduced, and I think Shadow Ferdrake will be the main. Warped, warped for them. Uh, in general, like try to catch as much warpets as possible simply because you are getting more skills and more coins to spend in the future. I understand for a free to play player like me, it's not easy to catch many warpets because, like, currently I have only two warrants. Warrants means, means that uh, per day I can only catch two warpets, but still try to catch the higher level. Uh, it kind of determines, uh, like, higher level has a more chance to get a legendary warpet. If not, not try, try to regenerate and try to make the warpets uh, legendary style. Uh, this is all I wanted to speak uh, regarding like Bruin Bear and general warpet. Um, I will continue uh, creating content for you guys for the game of Call of Dragons. Uh, if you like the content, press the like button and subscribe. And in general, thanks for watching. 
Um, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.